First Lady Ishmaelania would have been a priority deportation under husband's new immigration laws. Before Melania married the monster known as Donald Trump, she was an immigrant visiting the United States on a traveler's visa. The Associated Press discovered that she broke U.S. immigration law on that visa, she apparently did paid modeling work during that time, emphasis mine. Mrs. Trump, who received a green card in March 2001 and became a U.S. citizen in 2006, has always maintained that she arrived in the country legally and never violated the terms of her immigration status. During the presidential campaign, she has cited her story to defend her husband's hard line on immigration. The wife of the GOP presidential nominee, who sometimes worked as a model under just her first name, has said through an attorney that she first came to the U.S. from Slovenia on August 27, 1996, on a B1-B2 visitor visa and then obtained an H1B work visa on October 18, 1996. The documents obtained by the AP show she was paid for 10 modeling assignments between September 10 and October 15, during a time when her visa allowed her generally to be in the U.S. and look for work but not perform paid work in the country. The documents examined by the AP indicate that the modeling assignments would have been outside the bounds of her visa. Shocker! Another life from a member of the Trump clan? Where's my faith in couch? Anyway, we know this fact won't do a damn thing to affect Mrs. Trump's life. I bring this up because a violation like that done now would have instantly made Melania among the immigrants deemed a priority for deportation. From Slate On January 25th, President Donald Trump issued an executive order prioritizing the deportation of a number of classes of individuals, among them those who have engaged in fraud or willful misrepresentation in connection with any official matter or application before a governmental agency, who hadn't been considered top deportation targets under Obama. Department of Homeland Security documents released this week indicate that immigration officials are putting Trump's instructions into practice. If Donald Trump had been president in the 90s, would the deportation of his future wife have been considered a priority for immigration officers? Yes, say two immigration attorneys I spoke to. Welp. This isn't just another example of how preposterously hypocritical Trump and his ilk hypocritical are in almost every way. It shows how out of town these policies are. Obama earned the title deporter-in-chief for having the most deportations during his presidential tenure, and that was with less strict, oppressive immigration policy. Now that Trump has widely opened the pool of priority deportations the number of ejected immigrants could skyrocket. There's one big thing, though dot 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 who's going to pay for it? Would all the taxpayer money going into punishing the Melanias of America be worth it? Hell nah. But is all the fear immigrant communities are enduring under this regime worth it? I bet it is to the white nationalists heading this country.